Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? This is Josh over here at American AF Dumpsters in Dallas. I am, uh, it's kind of a busy day, so things have really picked up. Uh, as soon as I went and I posted those six dumpsters for sale, um, things have really picked up. I wasn't, I'm not really posting the dumpsters for sale uh, because things were slow, even though they were. I thought it was a good time to uh, get rid of the older inventory or the Lone Star inventory and get new Keystone inventory. The rest of them kind of all matching. Not only that, but my goal is to, um, Keystone has a, uh, has an ability to build me a, a roll off truck that is dual purpose. So it will be able to handle uh, Lone Star cans and standard rail cans. So to kind of get out of the predicament I'm in as far as um, standard rail and non-standard rail cans and stuff like that. I thought it would be best to kind of get the ball rolling now, use the money of the six cans that I sold to, that I was going to sell or am gonna to sell to um, build that truck and then to buy an additional six can standard rail. So then I'll have six cans standard rail, six cans Lone Star rail, all built by Keystone and a truck that a roll-off truck that uh, can handle uh, two different types of dumpsters. So I think that'll be the my best route of action. You know, I'm still kind of playing with the idea. I've got several people that are interested in the dumpsters. Um, nobody yet has come with all the cash as far as the package deal. So until I get that, I think I'm gonna hold off on selling them separately. That's kind of what what's going on right now. Um, but uh, all of a sudden, yesterday and today, this week and and, and the last week, we got pretty busy. Um, so I'll be delivering dumpsters all day today for the most part. Uh, I still have, I believe, two over at uh, Keystone that I'm going to go pick up. I'm probably going to pick up at least one today. Um, but right now, I just dumped this 20 yard that I picked up yesterday afternoon. So I'm going to dump this one, uh, drop this one off here at the customers, and then I'll be heading over to uh, Keystone to pick up one of my dumpsters to deliver that as well. So. I know a lot of you guys will probably be interested in the dual purpose rail or dual rail system from Keystone. Um, they had one there that they were building that I thought was really interesting. Um, so I've talked to them, um, just trying to figure out what the best chassis is. I'm looking at different types of chassis, uh, Hino truck, uh, as well as possibly maybe an international, uh, but still kind of playing around with the chassis. Don't want to go and spend $150,000 right now. I just want to be able to get into it as least expensive as I possibly can, but also uh, in a fashion where I most likely will have the less amount of breakdowns uh, and not get a beater truck or a terrible truck. So that's the plan. Uh, we're about to pull up to this drop off right now and I will hopefully record it a little bit for you and uh, we'll be on our way to Rome. Rome, Texas. Keystone. Uh, I've been driving for a little bit. Should be there in about the next 15 minutes or so. Um, let me take this opportunity real quick to remind you that if you're not on the Dumpster Rentals 101 page on Facebook, make sure that you uh, like this channel, you like this video, subscribe to this channel, smash that notification bell, and then head on over to Facebook after you're done watching this video and uh, do a search for Dumpster Rentals 101 or there's a link to the Dumpster Rentals 101 page in the description below. Uh, always lots of good lots of good conversations in there, lots of good guys in there that uh, help us out, give good advice, uh, and, uh, and yeah. So, got some really cool upcoming stuff for the live streams on Wednesdays, guys. Uh, hopefully I can get this video up uh, by this Wednesday, but this Wednesday, it's going to be a little bit earlier of a live stream uh, due to time changes where he's at. But we are going to have Heath from Lake Champlain uh, on our YouTube live stream 
uh, going over dumpsters, going over uh, weekly trash uh, pickups like he does, and a bunch of other things that has to do with trash. So Trash to Cash, a weekly live stream. This Wednesday, we are going to go live at 6.30 p.m. Central. Uh, then next week, next Wednesday, I already have lined up uh, Justin from Life's Apprentice. He is going to be back on the channel, and we're going to start a mini series of targeted topics in the dumpster rental or dumpster industry, dumpster business, and we're going to tackle the most questioned, uh, the most difficult question there is. Uh, that we get all the time is going to be advertising and marketing so the entire hour episode or the entire hour show is going to be focused on advertising and marketing and the best ways to do so and then three weeks out so basically not uh, i believe it's september 15th i want to say we're going to have live on the channel we're going to have Matt and Jojo with Sonoma Strong Hauling and Junk Removal. The duo, the couple that they do nothing but junk removal. Uh, super excited to have them on the channel. It's going to be a little bit different because we normally focus on dumpster rentals, but uh, Trash to Cash is all about turning trash into cash. Uh, and I've got, you know, one of the most well known junk removal couples in the industry. Uh, They're going to be here live on the channel super stoked and excited about that so we will uh yeah that's three upcoming wednesday live streams that we have planned for you guys uh make sure you tune in make sure you ask those questions and make sure you like this channel so you get notified and, and subscribe to this channel so you get notified uh when we post new videos so let's go pick up this dumpster So today's gonna to be a lot of driving, or has been a lot of driving. It is uh, not even one o'clock, and uh, I think I've already put like, I don't know, 200, 250 miles on the truck. So fortunately, unfortunately, Rome is an hour, a little over an hour away from my shop. And then uh, this drop off is in Kemp, which is 45 minutes the other way from my shop. So technically, uh, I was an hour and a half from Rome when I left, uh, 90 miles, but uh, I also hit a little bit of traffic, so it's going to be about 30 more minutes. Uh, I already used up another half of a tank, so lots of miles today. Um, it's not usually going to be obviously this much, but picking up these dumpsters, that's kind of why I left two of them still over there, technically through a third one because the prototype is still there too. So I've got uh, one more 20 yard and one more 15 yard to pick up. And then uh, I won't have to go back up there until uh, I place my next order. So uh, that's where we're at. Heading to camp now to drop off the 15 yard. Then I believe if I still 
feel like it. I gotta go pick up one dumpster from Dallas again. Uh, and then I've had this uh, customer, this national trash company that's been kind of dragging me along for about a week saying that they're going to pay they wanted a delivery monday or tuesday at the latest which is today tuesday but they still haven't paid for it and it's for a uh a national franchise company that uh, it was going to be kind of for a long term not a long term but short term but still temporary project they got going on uh, more than a week several weeks uh, and i'm hoping i get apparently they do all of this door's uh, construction and projects as far as trash is concerned in North Texas. And I'm hoping to get it, uh, but still waiting on them to pay. So it takes this long to get payment. I don't know, uh, you know, how lucrative or how nice it's going to be. So but we'll see. Anyways, guys, we'll see when we drop off this can. All right, this GPS has me going to some real, real country or remote area. Just for did not tell me it was down a gravel road. Not that it really matters. It's just uh, let's see. Hopefully this is the right address. No idea where I'm at. Looks like I'm going down this dead end. So I just picked up the dumpster. I'm almost at the transfer station here at the light. Um, but uh, customer wanted it that way, parked at an angle. Uh, only really way I could get it without running over the neighbor's grass. So I ran over their grass, which is customer is fine with that. So this is a third dumpster that that customer has used, uh, used me on. So uh, I think they really don't care about the grass very much. But um, yeah, I'm going to dump this one off and then I'm dropping this off. So that commercial client or that nationwide um dumpster company or their their waste management company um, that contracted me for this client of theirs um, they ended up paying so I'm gonna be dropping this one off today and then that will be my last one for the day so this has been a full day of uh, you know first thing in the morning uh, after I dropped my daughter off till you know afternoon uh, early evening <clears throat> but you know most of it you know, I took a lot of time going over to uh, Keystone to pick up that dumpster too. So, so yeah, busy day today, but uh, we're almost done. We're gonna dump this one, drop it off down in Maypearl, and then I'm gonna be done for the day. So uh, then I got my kids' soccer practice. That's my day for today. So uh, I coach my nine-year-old's U10 soccer team. Uh, I've been coaching them since they were three. So uh, love, love coaching, love coaching soccer. Doesn't look like there's too many trucks in front of me. It looks like three trucks in front. So I should be in and out in no time. This one feels a little heavy. Probably gonna be about two tons, maybe less. I'd say, let's say 
let's say it's ton and a half, say 3,000 pounds. Come into the transfer station, you can tell by the car that's parked out front who's working. And today is definitely uh, one of the faster employees, so uh, at least at the cash register. So I usually like to, uh, like to know how long I'm going to take, roughly. We'll see. Man, I don't know where the heat came from, but holy moly. Out there for two seconds, and I am already sweating. Where's my bill clip? Bill clip. Don't leave home without this thing. Keeps your dinger from shutting up when you're trying to drive just a little bit. All right, let's see how much it weighs. What did I say? I said a ton and a half. About 3,000 pounds. I am at, ding, I'm at 2,940. Check it out. Read it and where is it at? Where's the camera at? Over there. 2,940 pounds. 1.47 tons. I paid 77.91 plus tax. Comes out to 8434. <laughs> All right, so we just dropped off there. A little hot inside, but nothing more than a few minutes, and you're good to go again. Uh, empty, and we're gonna go drop off in Maypro. Gotta love downtown Dallas traffic. Or not just downtown, all of Dallas traffic. And here we are. Just delivered this can. Just look at the biggest the how big of a difference this is. I mean a 20 yard can. It's probably, I don't know, probably like a three yard. Fits like five, ten bags. I mean, I could fit like four, five of those in there maybe easily. So anyways, just drop this off and uh, we're done for the day. So with that note, make sure you guys like, make sure you guys subscribe, smash that notification bell. Let's get home. Let's get to soccer practice and we'll see y'all on the next one.